I mean, it's beautiful. This just came out today. The Pentagon worries Russian release in prisoner swap may return to arms trafficking. <laughs> Pentagon officials are con are concerned that Victor Bout, a Russian arms dealer who Biden administration freed from U.S. custody Thursday in prison and swap, which was just a wonderful swap. Can't wait to see Brittany Griner back on the court doing what she loves. 17 points a game, 1.8 assists per game. Praise God for that. Continue to say, there is a concern that he would return to doing the same kind of work that he's done in the past, said a Pentagon official told political Politico. The official said if Bao returns to illegal arms trafficking, the United States will focus on urging United States allies in Africa not to engage with the arms dealer. Hey, stop it. Stop trying to engage with him. Stop it. Private gun ownership is bad, but unless it's in Israel and Ukraine, then it's 5,000% okay. Exactly. Ex freaking exactly. These are the same people that try to tell you that uh, you're assault weapon your ar-15 is a weapon of war and then at the same time releasing one of the the biggest arms dealers in the world and nicholas cage is licking his chops at a lord of war 2.0 like it's just it's we just live in such an insane time and it's amazing how many like like msnbc and stuff like this are like praising this man being freed and at the same time will tell you in the same breath that you shouldn't have guns <laughs> I'm <laughs> just like, why do you need these things? Oh, but we need to have Brittany Garner while we left the other two guys who have been serving longer sentences there. No worried about that. Some, I love the part in this article. Some criticized, okay, some logical thinking people criticized Biden administration for freeing Bout who armed Afghan warlords and is accused of dealing with Al-Qaeda and the Taliban, like us. Especially as former Marine Paul Whelan has remained in Russian custody since 2018. Paul who? I'm sorry. And then there was like another guy who's there too. So it's like, mm, I just, this is just, this whole story is just another reminder is how if you go to jail for something, no one cares about you. If you fit, uh, if you're either a celebrity or you fit under the umbrella that is progressivism, you will be freed at all costs, even if it means we release one of the worst drug <laughs> arms dealers that create conflicts and murder people around the world. That's how much they don't care about you. And also another thing, I'm sure the military industrial complex would absolutely love the idea of this gun <laughs> warlord walking around starting wars up again praise god for that finally we can get back into real war and not just sending money we need to start getting people killed oh my god that sounds great but then uh these guts didn't mark off proper check marks <laughs> uh trade the war warlord for a dummy nba player it's just or it's just it's just so bad this guy is probably going to make a fortune in america once firearms are completely outlawed of a hundred percent Dude, what? That's like the the chat of the century. Of course, it's the minute you have all these Americans that want still want their firearms, and when it's illegal, you know, he'll just send it to the cartel, and the cartel will sell it to us. Because it's not like we have a border. Praise God for that.